it's been a very busy period for us. We've uh, we're pleased to, to share with you that we've made substantial um, kind of uh, strides in, in terms of refocusing, particularly our offshore asset platform. Um, you would have seen from, from various announcements that we are now formally out of the UK, for example. We, we have sold the residual Cromwell shares, and we also completed the sale of our student accommodation assets as well in Australia. And, and, and we had uh, some uh, shares that we've uh, received in respect of our Nigerian property this week, and, and that will similarly be sold off in due course. So we will be exposed to one specific country going forward, being Poland, and from a sectoral point of view, it will be a combination of, of retail and logistics. Um, that significantly improves our risk universe in terms of us being uh, you know, exposed to a, a geography that on a relative basis to South Africa holds a lot more promise. For example, it is expected that the economy in Poland will return to pre-COVID levels in approximately a year. Unlike the situation we find here in South Africa, where it can take a considerably longer period of time. So, so you'll notice that our loan to value improvement initiatives announced last year but has, in effect, all been done. From a timing point of view, it will still take a while for all the cash flows to materialize. For example, the student accommodation assets will be sold um, with anticipated proceeds coming through in September and January 21, uh, respectively. Um, similarly to that, I think it's important just to note, and it's in our press release, that there was a more of the South uh, put arrangement that we disputed the validity of. We have made, made significant progress with the parties involved to resolve the matter. And, and we are confident that the outcome thereof, which should be announced quite soon, will be um, one that will make all parties a lot more comfortable. Um, I can't give you more specifics about that at this point because it's subject to uh, final approvals you know, within, the, within RMB and the like. And, and as a consequence of that, we will make, once it's all been finally settled, which should be within a week or so, We'll make a full announcement on all aspects of such resolution. I think also just from a simplification point of view within our Polish asset platform, we did also announce on Friday on SENS uh, non-binding head heads of terms that we've negotiated with, with our co-investors in, in a trading opportunity called Chariot Top Group, where we will be swapping effectively or, or, or selling our interest in Chariot in exchange for one of the retail assets within that portfolio called M1 Marquee. It's all set up in the sense announcement from a, a mechanics point of view, but, but in effect, we are exchanging, as I said, um, one asset which is yielding non-recurring income for an asset that is uh, yielding recurring income, which goes once again towards our strategic uh, priority to uh, eliminate non-recurring income streams from our asset base going forward. In terms of um, uh, the uh, progress we've made in terms of the um, uh, negotiations with tenants on re rental routine packages and like, it's gone very well. I think it's also very um, important to note that whilst we've been working from home, Redefine has um, not skipped a beat. We've managed to continue to instill a culture of innovation and learning, keep people motivated through a number of initiatives. And this was all enabled through our IT platform, which seems to work far better from home than we are from the office. <laughs> but I do think what has also been very beneficial to us has been that we've had a very strong emphasis before the, the lockdown, but certainly we, we maintain that on our values, where all our staff are um, encouraged to adopt and live our values no matter what the situation is that they find themselves in. And we've also made good strides in terms of further protecting our asset values through enhancing and extending our ESG initiatives. 
renewable energy um, continues to expand. We're now 25.9 kilowatt peaks, and also a number of Green Star rated buildings is now sitting at roughly 100 